Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our weekly Oracle and Tarot card reading. And the reading is going to be done with the Sacred Destiny Oracle cards today by Denise Lynn. This is the deck that was calling me, so this is what we will be using. You can use this reading as a pick a card reading, one, two, or three, or a blended reading with all three cards at the beginning, middle, and end of the week. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers, the highest good of all. Beginning of the week, I'll take a card from the top, or card number one. Middle of the week, I'll take a card from the center, or card number two. And the end of the week, I'll take a card from the bottom, or you'll be using this as card number three. Okay. Oh, these cards. Ooh. <laughs> These cards have such beautiful energy to them. I love the backs of them. The ocean it looks like an ocean wave coming in with the sunshine. Card number one, or the beginning of the week. It's called Going Forward. Okay, and we have this beautiful countryside. And again, the sunshine uh, peeking through the trees there. And these cards are not going to be numbered, so I won't be giving out any numbers. Okay, and this is a beautiful, beautiful picture. And uh, the grasses are one of the most abundant families of plants on earth. From the earliest days of human history, grasses have played an important role in life. Um, and this card here is telling us, you know, when you receive this card, it's a sign of fertility, productivity, love, health, abundance, and fulfillment. Um, and this card's telling us that all of those things are ahead of us. Uh, things are growing and expanding in your life. And this card is telling you to keep going forward. Sometimes it may be easy to be distracted uh, by what's occurring around you. But this card indicates that it's important to not let anything hold you back from increasing the bounty of your life and your abundance. So step up and know that your needs will be taken care of. Your life is escalating and intensifying in the best possible way and for your highest good. And that is, you know, just so, so true. Things are expanding, things are improving. And even if it seems like nothing's happening, remember that there's a lot going on behind the scenes that we cannot see with our own eyes, but things are lining up in divine timing, in divine order. And card number two, or the middle of the week, oh wow, a beautiful butterfly. And it is spring here in the Northern Hemisphere, and I haven't seen any butterflies yet, but I'm sure I'm about to any day now. And I love the, the butterfly symbolism. It is all about transformation. Um, and this beautiful butterfly, the colors on this card are absolutely absolutely gorgeous um, and this butterfly card um, it means it's time for change uh, reinvention or a rebirth with a new way of being in your life if you've been you know plodding along this card suggests that you take measures to shift everything don't resist change uh, the blue color suggests a spiritual renewal or initiation transformation doesn't mean you know taking something old and remodeling it or rearranging it it means becoming something completely different or, you know, doing something completely different. You know, change is often uncomfortable, you know, because we don't know what's up ahead. People fear change because of the unknown, because we don't know what is going to happen if we change something. But, you know, this card's telling you um, it's going to be for your highest good if you make these changes now. And this is a very lucky card. And drawing this card can mean that, you know, maybe a wish is about to come true for some of you out there. I just know that this is an absolutely captivating card with the, the blue and the yellow and the gorgeous rose here. And then card number three, or the end of the week, is oh, beautiful inner peace. Wow, we have the fish here. This reminds me of the aquarium that I saw when I was Atlanta, at Atlantis in the Bahamas. I was just like so mesmerized by that aquarium that they have. And um, this picture of just inner peace, just being by water to me brings me inner peace. And these beautiful, colorful fish and these flowers on this card are, are just, oh goodness, they're just breathtaking. I hope the camera is picking up 
on the beauty of these cards. Um, and inner peace is your birthright. You know, tranquility occurs when you realize that your life is unfolding according to divine planning. Serenity isn't something you have to work for or search for. It already exists within you. To find this inner peace, simplify your life, spend time in nature, and listen to the message of your soul. True peace transcends fear and connects you intimately to the creator. Breathe deeply and fully know that all is well. So if you're feeling this fear of transformation here, okay, by the end of the week, we're going to start settling our feelings down. We're going to start feeling a tranquility. Maybe we're going to go out into nature, especially this card being on the weekend. You know, you have more free time to do what you want to do as compared to the obligations during the week. So maybe go out in nature. And if you live by a beach, you know, maybe you want to go out to the water. Um, and just relax there on the beach. Or if you live in the mountains like I do, you can go sit by a peaceful lake or stream. But, you know, being by water, like I said, to me is just like instant inner peace. What a beautiful, beautiful week. If you've enjoyed this reading, please like it by giving it a thumbs up. That will support my channel and help me survive here on YouTube. Uh, share the video and above all, subscribe because I will be back with more.